In this lesson, we'll take a look at finalizing our simulation. So we have everything in place and everything is simulated, but when we originally did the bumper, I didn't like the way that it turned out. It actually just kind of crumbled way too much. If we take a look, and I'm just going to speed down here to the end of our cache, we can really see that the geometry is just collapsed in on itself. It's interpenetrating. It's just a mess. And if we scroll through here, you can see that it actually has just a ton of chatter uh, as it's fighting with itself to figure out where it's supposed to be uh, through its collision. Okay, so. I wanted to remedy that. I didn't didn't like the way that that looked, of course. I like the damage that's kind of coming through here because, again, we're going to be looking at it from a pretty good distance. We're not going to be that close up to it, but I can't have all that movement that's going on in there. So after looking at it, the main reason behind this, and let's go back to our first frame, was because of how tight our geometry was. We have so much detail, or a little bit of detail here, uh, from the bevels that are going through there, giving the bumper some definition. When our bend resistance, which was at 200, uh, with this small detail and a bend resistance of 200, we were getting a lot of conflict between there because the space, and we can't even get that close, the space between these edges was practically microscopic. So this bend resistance just can't handle it, uh, being, being as stiff as it is. So the solution here was just to drop that down to a value of 100, and that settled it down tremendously. Okay. Now, I'm going to load up the actual cache for our final bumper, and we'll load that in there, Okay, and go then back out to frame at 300, and you can now see that it's not crumbling nearly as much as it was before, Okay, and when we scroll through there, we're not getting that crazy chatter that we were getting before. There's still a little bit going on in there, but again, not enough that I'm going to notice. Now, if I wanted to go back and get rid of that, okay, I could still leave this at a bend resistance of 100 because I like the damage that I'm receiving. But to calm it down further, I would increase the damp. Okay, this is going to settle those springs down and prevent them from reverberating like they are, and that's what causes that chatter. We don't want to go crazy with the damping effect because it will really ruin a lot of the uh, attributes that we've added there already because it's calming those springs down. It's reducing their effectiveness. Okay, So the more damp you add there, the less movement, damage, simulation that you're going to see. So we do want to be careful with that value there. And we use very small increments. So this is at a, a value of 0.1. Now, if I was going to run the simulation again, I probably wouldn't raise it any higher uh, than 0.2. I might try 0.15 first. Okay, so let me go back. Uh, we have our final bumper cache attached there. And we also added, uh, let's switch, okay, we also simulated the headlights, and we brought those in through a transform constraint. So I broke the surface up, pretty much just like what we did for the grill. Broke the surface up manually, added a transform constraint, and then played with those glue strength values in order to get them to break. Okay, so I'm just going to, let's switch to our movement camera here, and we'll select those two pieces just so that we can kind of see them. Okay, and we play out our simulation. Okay, we can see smash one and smash two. The headlights break apart. All right, so now the only thing left is to put this together just in kind of a final sequence. I've added uh, a couple of extra cameras here, and let's just bring this up. So we have our play blast here of our final sequence. Okay, and there we go. 
we have our destroyed vehicle. Okay, and I kind of I put the camera in case you couldn't see exactly what it was, but we've got a camera uh, on the inside of the truck there, so we can kind of get that that rolling effect and see some cool looking damage from the inside. Okay, that concludes our video. That includes our all of our lessons. Thank you for watching. This has been uh, a ton of fun, and I hope you learned a lot.